Apple typically doesn't let any information slip about upcoming products, but the Apple Car has been a huge exception, with the first rumor about its development dating back to 2015. In fact, according to former senior vice president Tony Fidel, Steve Jobs actually considered creating a car in 2008, but eventually decided against it, mainly due to the auto industry's collapse during the economic downturn. But the automobile landscape looks much different today, mainly due to the success of electric vehicles like the Nissan Leaf and Tesla Model 3. Also, Apple is in a much different position today, with more than $100 billion of cash on hand, which they could use to fund an ambitious electric car project. And it appears as if they already have, according to some reliable rumors over the past few years. So in this video, we're going to find out what exactly Apple's been working on and what features we could expect to see from the rumored Apple car. This is Greg with Apple Explained, and I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to help decide which topics I cover, make sure you're subscribed, and voting polls like this one will show up in your mobile activity feed. All right, now Apple has been fairly open about their efforts to build a car, which is very unusual for the most private tech company in the world. And that's mainly because they don't really have a choice. The process of designing, testing, and manufacturing a car is extremely complicated and requires regulatory approvals that have to be made public. Even Tim Cook himself admitted to the development of self-driving technology, saying, we're focusing on autonomous systems, and clearly, one purpose of autonomous systems are self-driving cars. We sort of see it as the mother of all AI projects, and it's probably one of the most difficult AI projects actually to work on, and so autonomy is something that's incredibly exciting for us, but we'll see where it takes us. So while Cook didn't explicitly admit that Apple's making a car, he did admit to building self-driving technology. And when you pair that admission to the rumors and leaks over the past five years, all signs are pointing to Apple building their own car. So let's explore all the features we can expect from the Apple car. The most important and the most difficult to implement is self-driving technology. Tesla has been the leader in this area for quite some time now, but they still haven't achieved 100% level 5 self-driving. They've opted to take a very gradual and public approach to developing the technology by slowly rolling out new autonomous features like auto lane change and auto park over a long period of time eventually working their way to 100% self-driving in the coming years. But Apple appears to be taking a different approach. First, Apple wants level 5 full self-driving to be available on their car from day one. No betas, no gradual ramp in technology, just completely safe and reliable autonomous driving that customers won't have to worry about. Second, Apple's using LiDAR sensors to give the car superhuman vision, but Tesla's CEO Elon Musk dismissed the technology long ago, saying, anyone relying on LiDAR is doomed. But no matter what type of sensor the Apple car utilizes, Apple is counting on it to deliver a driverless experience. In fact, some rumors have even suggested the car may not have a steering wheel at all, which is in line with early prototypes designed by Jonathan Ive himself, where the interior featured wooden leather, the car drove itself, and the passenger would control everything with their voice through Siri, instead of pressing buttons or turning dials. But this vision of the Apple car may not become a reality anytime soon. There are not only technical hurdles to shipping a car without a steering wheel, but also regulatory restrictions that would have to be negotiated. And obstacles like those are never welcome when trying to create something of your own, which is why you shouldn't try to build a website without the help of Squarespace. They have a drag and drop interface that's so simple even I can use it. Plus, Squarespace automatically optimizes your website for mobile devices, so you don't have to waste time creating a desktop and mobile version of your site. They have built-in analytics tools that report page views, traffic sources, time on site, most read content, and more. You can create an exclusive paid membership area, just like on YouTube, and you can even create an entire e-commerce store to sell physical or digital products. I actually did that a couple years ago to sell merch, and it was way easier than I imagined. Also, if you Google Apple Explained, my website is one of the first results. That's because Squarespace has the best search engine optimization tools that'll make your website more visible to more people. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Apple Explained to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.
All right, now another unique feature we're expected to see added to the Apple Car is a massive sunroof that can be configured into a number of positions depending on the user's preference. We've also seen patents for seats with haptic feedback, allowing the driver to be alerted of warnings like lane drifting without the need for loud noises or visual cues that could disturb other passengers. Alongside haptic feedback would be a dynamic seating system, where certain characteristics of the seat would change automatically depending on driving conditions. For example, the seats may adjust to a safer position when traveling at high speeds, or the seat belts may tighten right before an unavoidable collision. The headlights may have a special light projection system that delivers more lighting to dark areas and less lighting to areas of the road that are already well lit. When it comes to interior lighting, Apple is expected to utilize their True Tone technology to adjust the temperature of the car's lighting to match the natural light from outside. The company has actually already implemented this technology in their Fifth Avenue retail store in New York City. The Apple Car's windshield could feature an anti-reflective layer of modulators that activate when glare is detected, and its bumpers may be retractable so that it can utilize a few extra inches of protection against collisions while driving, but shrink down when trying to park into tight spaces. There are also rumors that Apple has developed a new type of monocell battery technology that uses a lithium iron phosphate chemistry rather than the traditional lithium ion. This should allow for a more dense battery pack that delivers more range than competing EVs while also being less likely to overheat. But perhaps the biggest advantage of the Apple car will be its seamless integration with Apple's ecosystem, which has already proven to be in very high demand due to the success of CarPlay, Apple's in-car media system that gives users access to their favorite apps like Apple Music, Messages, Podcasts, and Maps. But this is just a small sample of what would be possible if Apple created their own car. Not to mention plans to use AR to project helpful information onto the windshield, like the car's route or current speed. And motion sickness from passengers using Apple devices in the car could be mitigated by measuring the discrepancy between the car's movements and the user's movement. There are so many ways Apple could improve the driving experience, especially if driving were no longer required at all. And this has left many people wondering when we could expect the Apple car to be introduced. Based on the rumors so far, it looks like we'll have to wait at least three years, with the earliest estimate being 2024 and the latest being 2027. We don't know exactly how much the car will cost, although it's expected to be pricey at around $50,000 to $60,000. So that is what you can expect from the Apple car. Thanks for watching till the end. Don't forget to subscribe to help decide which topics I cover, and I'll see you in the next video.